Okay, this is to show um, the basics of how I use the curling wand in order to curl my hair. So the first thing I have learned is to section my hair in, so that I'm, I'm curling smaller amounts. So I will pull just this little bit back here. That's where I start. I use a um, Kevin Murphy product. You don't have to use a Kevin Murphy product. You could use really any kind of heat protectant and I will spray my hair in order to get that little bit coated. And then I literally will just start sectioning the hair. And one of the keys that I was taught by a good friend is that you have to go every, so every other curl, you have to um, reverse the direction. And that just helps the curls to not get all caught up in each other and to create like super big um, mega curls. And this is what I do. I use my um, fingers here to hold it away from the wand and then I'll use these fingers here to touch to see the heat. And then I just drop it um, and I'll take the next section. And so I went back on that first section. So now I'm gonna go forward on this section and I'll actually spin um, with my upper hand here. So you see I've got my hand away from the wand you're not necessarily going to get them completely, um, the ends of your curls completely pulled around. Okay, there we have that one. And you're just going to repeat this process until you work your way around the, um, the back of your head. So again, I will, um, I'll use my hand to wrap it around and then I'll use the barrel to finish getting it fully set on the on the wand so let me the challenge with doing a recording like this is that it you're seeing a lot of my armpits that's kind of eh. all right so you just notice I'm wrapping the hair around and then I'll spin it up the rest of the way so there's an example of the first layer so then what I'll do is I'll pull my hair down I will grab the next section and separate it out I spray it. and then I start the process over again because that first curl was so far back, I'm gonna start in the same direction up here. So we'll pull it around. Um, but as I get further up to the top of my um, crown, I will switch the direction um, that I start. Okay, there's that. And I do um, use um, a hand mirror in order to You'll also notice too that I'm going further down on the barrel because of the length of my hair. If you're using the upper part of the barrel, the, the top part of your curls are gonna be super, super big. Um, and so I don't, that doesn't work for me. Uh, so I, I will, I use primarily the lower portion of the, um, of the barrel when I'm, when I'm working through uh, uh, doing my curls. The nice thing about the waffling on this particular wand is that for hair like ours, if your hair is fine or uh, more thin, it grabs it more easily and it doesn't slide down the barrel, which is a real challenge. A lot of people who use those smooth bar barrels have to use a lot of product in order for it to stick because it's literally sticking to the, um, sticking to the barrel. But I'll use my handy um, hand mirror and I will um, use it to make sure that I'm grabbing all of um, the hair back there. Um, so it helps me to see what I've got going on so that I'm making sure that I'm getting all of the pieces that need to go into the next, um, the next curl. So that's one thing that's, um, it's very helpful to have a hand mirror 
and the ability to use that in order to know that you are um, that you're getting getting the pieces of hair. I will tell you that you'll notice my it's going to be you're going to see it to your left, my right, uh, the upper the upper hand. You know, in order to get this the way that I need it, sometimes I have to get some pretty funky. Um, I don't know what to call that up there on my hand. It's not necessarily comfortable. I can say that for sure. Uh, so that's uh, one thing that I wanted to uh, point out is that it's not always the easiest to... So no, notice I wrapped it with the hair and then I'm going to spin it the rest of the way with the wand. I find that a combination of those two makes it a lot easier um, and I get a better, I get a tighter wrap, which makes for a nicer shape to the curl. Uh, so that's, that's another tip for you. So there we go. There's that. We're working our way close to the front here. I'm going to do this in two different. Spin it around. And then I'll try to work my hand around the rest of the way to get as much of those little ends to touch the barrel as possible to give it nice shape at the bottom. If you leave too much of the ends away from the barrel, then you get you get you get funny shapes at the bottom of your um, of your curl. And then I'll just um, allow it to fall. Okay, now with the way that I worked my way around, this one is actually going to be facing forward, but that's okay because it's going to be covered with other hair. Otherwise, if it were the outermost curl, I would definitely make sure that I've curled it back um, because I don't care for the forward facing curls when they're right up next to my, when they're when they're basically in, in view. So that's what it would look like, that forward facing curl. Okay, so that's pass, that's the second pass. And now I'm gonna go for a third pass. I think in general, I find that um, four passes are what give me um, the, the nicest set of curls and um, they stay in longer because you've done smaller pieces of hair. Not good when you're eating the product. Okay, so here we go again. Now, this curl here, I curled back. So now what I'm gonna do is my first section of um, hair here, I'm gonna curl it forward again because it's gonna be underneath the top, the top layer of my hair. So it doesn't matter that it's curled forward. So get this one set. Remember third and fourth fingers are good for touching the hair. Okay, there we go. And you'll see it, it's kind of sitting way off the top of, you know, way away from my um, scalp. Um, it, that'll calm down um, a little bit. Remember, I try not to touch them um, as much as possible just to give them time to set. You don't want to, um, you don't want to um, comb them out or even whether it's with your hand or with um, a brush too much because with our hair, you'll pull them right out. And you know, then at best you're gonna look, look like you have body waves. Um, so I, I will leave the house with a very ringlet look to my head. I'm a very Shirley Temple curl look. Um, but then right before I walk into my meeting, I will take my hands and I will um, just finger comb my hair in order to separate the curls. So remember, just as a reminder, you're going every other curl is in the opposite direction. And again, what that does is it keeps your curls from just all combining together and creating one big mega curl, which is very frustrating. And it doesn't look good either. So I prefer, I prefer working my way through doing every, um, every effort. And then as I get to the back of my head, remember you're using some kind of hand mirror to help you know that you're getting, you're getting. And I will say, if you err on the side of, you know, making it, you know, too much, you know, making it too much, then you're going to get some curls. And if you err on the side of making it too small, then you're going to get some curls. So I'm going to try to work my way through it. And the more I work my way through it, the thicker the hair gets, the the more the curl kind of gets deformed up close to your scalp because it's harder to get your wand up close to your scalp. And I am going all the way up to my scalp. Now I'm not burning my scalp. Um, obviously that'd be painful. Don't recommend that. 
Um, but I do get it as close as I possibly can. Um, and that one's really stuck on there. All right, there we go. Oh, was my last one. I also try to make sure, if at all possible, as I get back to the upper portion of my crown, that I'm making sure the curls go towards the center because that will keep you from having like a gaping uh, divide, almost like, you know, water is being parted in your hair um, if your hair were water. Um, so I do try to make sure that they are, um, that the um, curls are going towards the center if at all possible, depending on where I am in my, um, in my process. Um, and you know, it's not a big deal if you lose track of uh, how much or which direction you've gone or that type of thing, it's, it's fine, you know, in this scope of things, you're gonna be pulling your fingers through it. The main thing is that you're not going the same direction every single time, because that's what, I gotta keep track of my time. There. So the one thing about this is that on the day that you are doing your curls, it takes time, as you're seeing. I'm, in, I'm 12 minutes in on this video, and which I'll try to speed it up for you. Um, but here's the thing, I trade off that I could go um, sometimes into the fourth day with this hairstyle. Um, the first day I have the very ringlety look. Um, the second day it's, you know, it's actually still pretty curly because I try not to do a whole lot of brushing on it. By the way, that's a good way to get your curl to tighten up is just to spin your finger around it. Um, day three, now it's looking very much like a body wave, maybe a little bit more messy, tousled look. And if I'm really pressed for time on day four, I'll throw it up into a messy bun. Um, of course, dry shampoo is the only way that I'm able to um, do that. Um, I do use dry shampoo and I'm a huge proponent of it. The day that someone introduced me to it, it was a life changer. I mean, I'm, I say that in all seriousness because I used to have to wash my hair every single day and that's not really good for your hair, um, but you know, it, it, was, it was just the nature of what I had to do um, because of the amount of oils that, um, that I had. So all that to say, I'm gonna spend probably 15 minutes on this hairstyle the day, the, the day that I do it, but I'm gonna go the next three days not having to do it. I'm just gonna have to get up, comb it, and I'm gonna be done with it. Uh, so that, so to me, it's a trade-off of time. Um, I'm still overall spending a lot less time just even in committing um, the time to make it, you know, to get it the way that I like for it to look. So it, for me, it's worth it. Because this is right by my face, it's definitely gonna be a curl facing back. I do try to pull up. Now, I have a widow's peak and two cowlicks, um, so that you know affects how things look on the front side of my face. So I have to keep that in mind. You're gonna, you're gonna learn to make adjustments in order for it to look the best. The other thing is as you get here where I'm at the top where my part is, um, you don't want to get it too far up from the scalp because otherwise it creates separations. Um, this is probably not the best one that I've done here, but I'm in a hurry now. Um, there we go. That's not too bad. But you don't want it sitting too far up from your spouse. And so you're going to notice now that the curls start sitting on top of each other. That's the value of going every other one because you will get a better look. Um, to your curl and again remember I'm spinning the hair around 
Then I'm spinning the wand to finish it up to my scalp. Okay, now on this side, this is a pretty thick amount of hair. If I tried to um, do all of this together, I wouldn't get the look that I want. So part of what I do just to give me the look that I want is I will actually separate this. So I'll use my finger to pull a portion of that over. You can tell I'm getting my hair colored next week. I am definitely in for a need a color. So now I will quickly do these pieces here. So again, it's a combination of wrapping that hair, getting it close to the barrel so that you get the shape. And there we go. By the way, the longer you hold it, the, you know, the more shape the curl is going to have. So if you wanted more waves, just don't leave it in there very long. You know, put it in and drop it fairly quickly. It'll be enough to give you a little bit of body. It just, uh, it won't last as long as if you leave it in there for um, a longer period of time. And by the way, you're gonna notice when you leave it in there a longer period of time, you'll see the waffling on your hair. It's gonna look like you pressed your hair in a crimper, but in this case, it will be with these little uh, waffles. It, that, that goes away. As it cools, that goes away. Now you'll notice there that, that that ended up being a little bit looser than what I would like. So I will just wrap it a second time. Anytime I need to wrap it a second time, I will in order to create the look that I want. It's important that you try to keep the barrel down up here by the front of your face so that your curls um, aren't like going all up in your eyes. There we go, and you'll see, kind of has that little bit of flat, flat right there. So I'll bring it back up lower. I'll spin just that part. So I'm, I'm holding the other part down here. I'll spin just that part. And that will help to give it more shape right there. So that's another little trick as well with um, giving you what you want on that. And here I'm gonna try to keep this, oh, well, that fell out way too quickly. Try that again. All right. Remember, third and fourth finger touching. There we go. That's more what I want. And the last one. Wrap it around. Get that end as close as I can. And I try to make that one a little bit looser so that it contours my face right there since I have but that might be a little too loose for me. So I'm going to wrap just that piece up there at the top. Remember I have the rest of the curl down here. There. All right. And of course, I'm going to um, leave it just like that as I go out to the vehicle. I kind of messed that one up right there. And um, I will I will pull my fingers through it. So that'll probably be about 20 minutes from now. Um, so it gives it a, a lot of time to set. And really what you're doing is you want those curls to fully cool um, because that's part of what helps the curl to set. And then you are ready for your, um, ready for your day. I'll come back later and I'll show you a trick for when you sleep on it, how to keep the back of your crown from getting all smushed out and um, flat, um, but hope you enjoyed that. Hello there. Okay, so no makeup. This is my hair after a full day of it being curled. I was in the wind, um, but uh, it still got some uh, wave to it. I wanted to show you my little trick for how I keep the back from looking all separated and mushed. 
I grab this portion of my crown. So I want you to see how, how I've grabbed it and I pick it up. And literally what I do is I take one of these little baby clips and I clip it up on the top of my head like that. So that when I'm laying, that is completely, so there you can see, it's completely up um, off the back of my um, off the back of my head. And then when I get up in the morning, I will take it out and it's got this nice little just fluff to it. Um, and it also allows me when it's like this, I can take my, um, my Batista, uh, my, what do you call that, dry shampoo, and I will um, add some dry shampoo to it just to help take care of some of those oils that uh, will have um, developed from sleeping on it. So anyway, just grab a, a piece of that hair, tack it to the top of your head just like that, and you are ready to go to sleep.